Really <laughs> She's like, yeah, the first, no, please. The first thing she said when we pulled up was, I hope we get tacos. <laughs> Welcome back to another TacoTuesday.com podcast. Here we have Victoria Shop and Tanya Med. Um, <laughs> yeah. So today's food spread is once again from Chellis in San Clemente. Feeds about four to six people, costs 60 bucks. Great if you don't want to do any cleaning. You know, you don't want to leave the house really. You just go pick up food, bring it back, feed the whole family. Uh, and it's great food. So, so good. It is. I've already had a taste of the guacamole. It's so good. And I'm having sunless coffee, Tani. Mm. We're all having the yeah, queen of actually. coffees here. Oh my god! <laughs> ding, ding, ding! Where's the bell? <laughs> so next time you're here, we're gonna get a bell for sure. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have a little bit of bad and a little bit of good. Ooh. I'm gonna pour you guys some fresh pressed orange juice. It has some oranges, apples, carrots, lemons. So where's it from? Go. Oh, Sunbliss Cafe. It's in Anaheim Hills. Is my place. You'll get to know it real soon. Ooh. But I'm gonna pour you what? Champagne or tequila? Just a little bit of it, because I'll have champagne. Oh, naughty. <laughs> I'm thinking you... tequila for me. I'll do tequila. Oh, you guys are tequila girl. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for coming on. Thank you for having us. Yeah. I'm so excited. Cool. So All cheer. right. We're going to cheers. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. To Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, thanks Thank for coming on the show. Thank you for having, Appreciate for having you. us. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my that gosh, yeah, really the juice good. is so fire. Our juice is it's good. It's healthy. <laughs> yeah, I don't even feel like I'm drinking tequila right now. Yeah, I make a margarita with this. It's like a margarita, but you get your vitamins too. Mm-hmm. Well, that juice is really good. Yeah, it is. Do you guys know that skit from Isle of Lucy where it's like, Vita, Mita, Vegemin. <laughs> Vita for vitamins, Mita for meat. Really? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I watched I Love Lucy. I've never watched I Love Lucy. Ultimate Sin. I mean, what year was that? Like, <laughs> the 50s. What year? It was like 18 something. <laughs> like, so. I love I Love Lucy. It's such a great show. I, I think I relate everything in life to Lucy. You watch it a lot. Yeah. I don't, I mean, maybe I watched like I could see an you episode with... or two, but. I am definitely not Lucy. <laughs> so oh. now we can have some taco. Oh. Yes. This looks. Amazing. I already beat you to the punch, so. My bad. All right. Mm. So, I was looking at your Instagrams. Uh, yours makes me super hungry, <laughs> and yours makes me want coffee like I've never wanted coffee before. So, and I hear you have a crazy big TikTok following that is growing every day. So people are just going crazy over your. Like, how does how does that work exactly? What do you do with your social media? Yeah. So I started on TikTok in 2021 started doing recipes and then i kind of wanted to intertwine like some entertainment into it so i started doing a lot of music vi music food videos i saw that it's so, <laughs> so cool i try to keep it fun you Did know you for my audience i saw oh twerking gosh, i know some of my audience was a little upset about that but oh, for real <laughs> yeah some girl commented like Oh, I'm so disappointed in you girls. And I was like, what do you mean? We're literally dancing. And you're having like, fun. Yeah, we're enjoying our lives. Like, you should try it, you know? <laughs> when I start twerking, twerking at an event, that means I'm having a good time. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah, I just started, like, posting my videos on Instagram as well. So, yeah. That's, that's my life. I'm going to need to learn how to twerk. <laughs> oh, I'll teach you. Don't worry. And I'm going to have to do that chicken strip recipe. Okay. With the cornflakes. I'll it make it for so you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I should have brought it. I should have oh, made it and brought it. Maybe you could do like it. Taco Tuesday something. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, I would... fried chicken. Fried... Is it fried chicken? No, it's not. It's oh, fried. The, the, the air fried flakes? chicken? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. I just did like a chicken tender chicken recipe. Tuesday. Garlic, honey, chicken tenders. I try to do like healthier recipes, but it's not always like that. You know, right. I don't restrict myself. So, um, yeah. But, you know, summer 2023 is coming. So we're trying to. <laughs> Try to post healthy recipes we'll for the games. That, the healthy juice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we have tequila. <laughs> we yeah. all want a hot girl summer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, wait, how do you get inspired by your like recipes? I guess, like, how do you know what to do next? I usually just look at one what's trending on social right. media, like food That's recipes, smart. like what's popping off right now. Um, a lot of it comes from like if I'm craving something and I just want to recreate it. Or if I went to a restaurant and I'm like, oh my God, that that was so good. I want to make it better at home. So it kind of comes from a lot of different places. But a lot of the inspiration comes from like what I see online already, you know? Yeah, I actually kind of feel that too. I'm I'm with you. So like at Sun Bliss, just, like I just told you guys about the Tres Leches, yeah. right? Like I feel so inspired by just this dessert. 
because it's my favorite dessert. I've had it my whole life and it's so comforting. And no matter what level or price priced out restaurant you go to, they have this signature dessert. And like, I could, I feel like I can bring that like with the sip through a straw, you mm-hmm. know? I don't know. I always yeah. feel like that too. Like ube sometimes is trending and I'm like, what can we do with ube? Mm-hmm. It's, I don't know. Oh, do people man. like it? And what's funny is like ube doesn't really have a taste. It's a like potato, that. you guys. It, I <laughs> yeah, like I either. always, I never like, got potato. on the ube trend. Me either. Like I didn't try a lot of stuff, but I'm like, it's literally a potato. So how are we like? But <laughs> in Philippine culture, which a lot of my friends are Filipino, right? Mm-hmm. Like they are so used to like ube being the taste of like, vanilla or coconutty and i figured like with some of the google research and like all the knowledge of all the ube brownies and things that i've had we were like okay we can recreate what people think ube is Mm -hmm. but that's what starbucks does right yeah like with what you think but you do it better let's be honest you do it way better (laughs) yeah i can testify i literally have starbucks like every week and this sun bliss coffee is is truly elite (laughs) yeah this trace it's for the elite is crazy i mean it tastes just like the dessert it's I know, delicious i love it and thank the you. one with the blue like i i always mm-hmm. wanted to try the blue one thank you for bringing it it's so good yeah thank mm-hmm. you so much thank i love that guys. all of your coffees have like little you can tell like a story behind it you know like you were talking about <laughs> how you went to thailand and, oh yeah okay i'll tell you guys and, that yeah but how, how like how do you get the recipe perfect how many times do you have to try it out before like the perfect recipe for a coffee okay so a lot of it's imagination okay. and a lot of practice Um, Let me tell you. So I was always creating my own drinks at home. Chai. Mm. In my whole life, you guys, I've had chai. Every single day, there's been a cup right in front of me from like when I was a child till I was, I moved out of the house. And my grandma always made me this perfect cup of chai. So she kind of taught me a little bit about like, maybe I would say recipe development. And then I would go, you know, went and had my own home, moved in. And I figured, well, crap, like I got to do this on my own, right? There's no nani or anybody around to like help me. So I'd play with flavors. I always got like samples. I'd go to trade shows and kind of mess with chocolate, caramel, and all kinds of good stuff. And then watching a ton of YouTube videos. But to tie that in, when we were supposed to open in March of 2020, the week of lockdown, and we had we didn't know what really was going to happen. So I remember sitting like on a cold cement floor in Sunbliss, not opened, completely just sitting there thinking, well, I don't need to just be a juice shop or something with like smoothies and acai. Like coffee is one of my favorite things I need to incorporate into the business. And I just truly, I just started to Google and YouTube and remember back like everything I learned through all my travels. I'd always attend like food shows and one-on-one cooking hours in like Thailand and Bali and, you know, Bangladesh, like all kinds of places and thought, why not? So I guess to answer your question, you just try and what what is it like trial and error yeah oh yeah mm-hmm. yeah dust yourself yeah. off and try again dust yeah. yourself off and try again no joke but i think most of the time now what we recipe develop i think i have a better understanding of like how so you're like, mis- like how much sugar and how much you know caramel and whatnot you need to like mix in and you're like, like perfecting mis- ratios and everything yeah you know cardamom pods and ginger Little Miss Entrepreneur over Hello. here so are you the main person to like create the recipes initially the... yes okay and now it's a team effort you know mm-hmm. a lot of the times i'm not there so people at bar at our bar um and i mean coffee bar yeah mm-hmm. they're messing with things all the time too so we have like a fun little forum where people can share what they've just created and sometimes it'll we'll queue it up or and sometimes we'll kind of incorporate things that i know would be more cost effective and doable so it's like a mixture of things but i'm like always inspired so you be- do not want to be near me before anywhere. you became the coffee queen before you became the coffee queen what were you doing oh my god you or guys what, yeah i came from the beer industry <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh, oh. i managed southern california for a very large beverage company that's known around the world for just specifically craft and imports mm-hmm. and beers near and dear to my heart so i un- and that's partially where i've learned about how to understand it's just like wine right um the ABCs, a lot of flavor. Is it balanced? Is it complex? Like you really think through what you're drinking and understand if it's like good or not and how it's brewed and how it's made or formulated. So that's what I did. I I, I worked with a lot of men, you guys, a lot of men. And now this is refreshing because I'm finally meeting women that are powerhouses in this industry, you know? Mm-hmm. And even when I started Sunbliss, I was always working with men. 
oh, general wow. contractor, is this vendor, this sales rep. It was it was like I almost felt like I didn't even leave the industry. So mm-hmm. nothing against men. I'm not like a misogynist or anything. I'm just <laughs> saying like it's just a refreshing feeling when there's like that girl boss energy, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's For cool. Sure. 100%. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I feel like I saw that a lot in the the food industry, like the cooking yeah. industry as well, like very male dominant and stuff. So it's really cool meeting yeah. other women. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. all you gotta do is DM. Yeah. I know. Like, it goes down in the DM, you guys. It goes down in the DM. Slide in the DM. Yeah. So I slide in the DMs. That's how you two met. Yeah. Just a DM. Um, yeah, literally. Her content was popping up on my popular page, and but and if you go to my Instagram, I only follow food people. Yeah, like, it's, it's fashion. You know all the food people, like fashion <laughs> or food. And um, I don't know. You popped up, and I was just like trying out. I actually was making some of her recipes oh, at home. Love that. And then, and then I DM'd her, and I was like, "Hey, like she drinks a lot of coffee." Oh yeah, <laughs> you know? I know. But, uh, yeah, I, do. I, I like DM'd her, and I was like, yeah. "Hey, I own a, a coffee spa in Anaheim Hills, and I know you're in Orange County because she's posted about it." And I'm like, "I I should totally hook you up with some of our coffee." And then she said, yeah, email me. And then I didn't even get a chance to do that. And then you guys launched an event. And I'm like, do you want to be my date? Yeah, <laughs> yeah we went on a date for our first time hanging out. <laughs> our first time hanging out, too. She was like my plus one. Yeah. Oh, no, he DM'd me. I did. Oh, really? Yeah. We had already wow. followed each other. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think I wrote him. And I'm like, you look like this famous Indian I got Hollywood. Um, <laughs> really? really? He, yeah, he's, his name's Badsha, which means badass She in, was in the Hindi. second person to tell me this. Wow. Yeah. I need and to see you. I get this- that pranker guy, <laughs> also, you know. Oh who? yeah, from Sal uh, or Imp- Impractical Jokers. He looks just like Sal from Impractical Jokers. A lot of people have told it. me that. Okay. And then when she told me about the Indian guy, I was like, "You're the second person that tells me this." Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, well, you That's have the so same funny. glasses and everything. You know. <laughs> it's I'm gonna glasses. teach you Hindi. Okay, I'm down. What is your favorite food, like our cuisine? Besides tacos. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, what a cruel like Is there cool other question. food there, out there? Yeah, tacos are the only thing that <laughs> exists other in our world. <laughs> no, I love pizza. Oh, yum. Love pizza. Yeah. Yeah, probably pizza for me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what about you guys? <laughs> was... I love Mediterranean food, Middle Eastern food. It's it takes the cake for me. But I love pizza too, of course, but like if I'm going to go like out to eat, probably yeah, like Mediterranean or tacos or but tacos aren't sexy like we you know when you eat them in front on a date <laughs> oh no definitely you not. haven't seen videos of it happening in slow motion <laughs> no, it's that's really a game sexy. changer mm-hmm. yeah. it's like open wide <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <it's> just... <laughs> okay my bad <laughs> what's your face yeah thanks for asking <laughs> um okay I love Mediterranean food, spe- specifically Lebanese food. Oh my god! I don't think I've ever had Lebanese. Lebanese. The garlic sauce survive. we make at Sunbliss is inspired by Tome, oh. which you is make a garlic sauce. We make sauce? our own garlic. It's so good. Wait, do you have? Food? Wait, I'm literally going after this. Yeah. <laughs> what, <laughs> yeah. We what, what food items? Have? Toast. We make our so our bread is baked weekly, fresh. Oh. It's oh. not refined, so it's like oh. really good. Oh my gosh! Wow. And then we fresh cut avocados. We have like special pickled radish, which is inspired by mexican cuisine right when you get radish it's my favorite thing i'd always put radish in a bag and put lemon in it and then just letting it sit sometimes turns pink so it pickles oh so we do that at sun bliss so on your toast you get like radish and then there's um depending on the toast you pick we have like inspired like a sriracha aioli which is my favorite thing in life sriracha love a good sriracha sriracha. aioli and then (laughs) garlic right like the most loved vegetable um so lebanese cuisine was like my inspiration for just the garlic too and we make our own spread oh so it's secret loved... it's like secret like people add it to our chutney chutney is my grandma's recipe so people ask for the garlic too it's like you when someone says like oh can i get the garlic on that we're like oh you're like a we know you're a regular <laughs> insider you know you know you give know. a little wink it's like we got it. yeah. yeah it's so good wow i it's definitely good. need to come asap yeah. it's very it's fast <laughs> What? Oh my god! <laughs> Careful, that tequila is really. I know I've done that twice already, but um, <laughs> she's like, Lebanese food is my go-to. I think it's nice to eat like in front of. When I was going on so many dates, I was on Bumble and I was going on like two dates a week. I thought like Middle Eastern food was like very easy to eat I, with a fork, right? Isn't it harder to eat? But then the real test, no way. The real test is when you eat the garlic, like the guy wants to still the, talk to the, you. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was like, oh my god, I love it's m- serious Mediterranean it's serious. food, but like. 
I would actually strategize, like, oh, am I gonna, if if I like the guy yeah. or not. <laughs> yeah, like, if you like him or not, you have it or not. <laughs> Dead serious. I true? really strategized it all. <laughs> they're the but, real one, then they'll... How did you yeah. brand your, like, your company? Me, myself, and I. Like, the colors and everything you chose? Yeah, oh, oh, this one's great. Yeah. Okay, I'm crazy. But, you know, you grow up, like... I grew up reading about like Warren Buffett and Lee Iacocca, who, by the way, I swear to God, you guys, I feel like Warren Buffett's like my long lost grandpa. Um, (laughs) But I always read about like businessmen and some business women that I like look up to. And I think some of the books like along the way and going to fit them, everything was you went to fit them? Yeah. I did fashion for a long time. Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I have a, I like have lived ten lives. <laughs> yeah, you, it seems like I definitely you have. Quite have. Good story. But um, I was very inspired by like reading color palettes and how color is a mood. So I feel like yellow, from my knowledge, was like a ye- like the power of like happiness. I love and yellow. And so like, our brand is slowly all turning into everything. It's just yellow. Sun, I always comment sun. on people's posts like yellow heart because I like the yellow heart. Yeah, mm, it's bright and beautiful branding very cheery mm-hmm. right like we want people to feel the shine yeah i love that who's like two people you look up up to like entrepreneurship Ooh. way or just there's so inspire many people you? oh okay um recently actually there's a man who influenced all the halal guys in southern california love those. um he's a new friend i absolutely admire him his name's paul tran he yeah he's the reason why there's halal guys but i've been bugging him and calling him and We've just formed a really strong friendship. Um, I love that before in my life, all these business books that I read throughout college and my and then pre owning a business, I always felt like everything was like an imagination. Like I'd read and listen and look up to these people that I didn't know. But now I actually have people like in my life that I know that are huge figures that I that I call for advice and they call me for advice. Like that's that's I, I don't I can't even believe I'm like that's the point I'm in. So Paul Train is one who is a local. He's cool. He's in Orange County. He's dope. And then I guess like Lee Iacocca, which I don't know why he comes to mind. Ooh. Oh, and and Jack Welsh. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you. Lee Iacocca is the man who revived Chrysler. Do you know who that is? Oh, oh my God. He's one of the most well-recognized businessmen ever. And he basically told people to like sacrifice their checks to bring out Chrysler out from like this huge turmoil. And it was like groundbreaking news because I think it was like in the sixties and because of him now Chrysler merged and it just became like this well-renowned big brand and like employees got paid and they got perks and it was just this br- just a big deal. And then, no oh, yeah, I don't know. Who else did I say? Pop quiz. The Iacocca. Yeah, anyone else? Oh, Jack Welsh. Oh, my God. Jack Welsh was the CEO. He just came out with a book called, not just, it was like a while ago, but I feel so old. Um, it's called The Real Life MBA. And I felt like I didn't even have to go get my <laughs> MBA <laughs> because it was like real life situations just in this book. But he's the reason why I, ch- I changed. Like I left from fashion. I was studying FITM. I did business management and marketing in fashion. I worked for Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein's corporate office. Oh. I went to MTV VH1, their corporate office. I was there when Michael Jackson died. That we was did wild. not no know way. this about oh you. Gosh. That was wild to be in like the capital of music and Michael Jackson dying. Then I started my own fashion label, which is pretty big. My old partner, like it's all on TV. It's Wait, everywhere. you had your own fashion line? Yeah, it was really cool. Oh. <laughs> I did all the marketing. It was amazing. Um, it's still running. What is it called? Shawl Dolls. It's oh. amazing. It's so awesome. Yeah, yeah. You can like wear one shawl 15 different ways. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty remarkable. But she's, it's her baby. She took over. And mm-hmm. I just felt like food was where I kind of wanted to go and are beverage. You, and that's how I ended up in beer. Are you going to come up with like a Sun Bliss like um, recipe book? Yeah. So actually, I'm trying to make Sun Bliss more of like a lifestyle brand. Okay. So we have like apparel. We'll have merch launch. And then my end goal is to continue to make private labels, which is oh. what I'm great at because I had an Amazon private label. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like you just learned about me in one minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, like that was good. A hundred times. But, and it would be new but to tell you, Jack Welsh, like if you are considering getting into business or any type of entrepreneurship, that book, it's called Winning. And I buy it for actually some of my employees and past employees that I'm like, like, I think if you want to be a businessman or woman, like here is my gift to you. And I like ship it to their house. And I feel yeah. like you're a good boss. Yeah, I'm like, okay. Definitely. You seem like <laughs> no. you're very good. I have good. weaknesses. Yeah. 
I mean, everybody right? does, but I feel like yeah. overall, you... I think I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm but... pretty sure your employees like to work for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we have great leaders. And yeah, we have good people that work. Is it with women us. and men or just women? We mainly are not by choice, oh, yeah. but but it is very refreshing. We have a majority of our team is women. Oh. And then we have two men. They're amazing. They're good people. We're about to expand with more more, and more people. But we have a very diverse and beautiful team. You guys should come. Oh yeah. Oh, oh we we're intend definitely to. gonna be going there. Yeah. Soon. yeah. Who inspires you? Mm. Like social media wise, I guess, because like my friends who are like kind of doing the same thing that I'm doing, but they're more ahead of me and just because I feel like it makes everything seem very possible, if that makes sense. So I would say um, also Gary V was like a big yes. inspiration to me because he just like a lot of social media is like you're in your head a lot. You're kind of worried about what other people think. And I feel like Gary V like just tells you to like not, think about that stuff mm-hmm. and like yeah, who cares right. what other people think like does it ever get to you like sometimes you have hard days uh yeah i mean sometimes but i would say for the majority of the time like i've i've done a lot of personal development and i've been doing this for a really long time so it like mean comments don't really they don't really sit with me unless people really say some messed up things but I'm I'm actually really lucky because I don't really have too many people that are like haters. Like, you know, people don't like I've seen people cyberbullying people and it's really yeah, messed up. Mean. And, yeah, like see like the Haley Bieber stuff right now. Like it's mm-hmm. wild. Team Selena. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> I know exactly how I feel. About She's it. actually sweet. I met her in person. She's really sweet. Selena? She, yes. Oh she my takes God. time to She's, talk to you. I love her. She's the sweetest person ever. She has she a mental health so movie on Apple TV. I, oh, I, haven't I seen watched it. it. It's, it's really sad. It's, it's peaceful. It's it's sad. I, I think, think it's more sad, need, than, it's sad than like happy. But I think people focusing yeah. on mental health and like anxiety and stuff is such a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, one hundred percent. But yeah, I don't really I don't have too much of an issue, but you know, I'm human, I have feelings, so yeah. things get to me sometimes. But overall, you're doing sweetie. amazing, sweetie. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your support. Twerking on camera was the worst thing you could do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if somebody's going to attack me for twerking, then I think I can survive. I mean, they yeah. went out of their way to, like, type a mean comment on somebody else's social media. Yeah, like, exactly. Who's really the, the loser in this scenario? That's you know how I, I mean? feel. It's like, people, I always have to remind myself, like, hurt people hurt people. Like, mm-hmm. they're going through something. They clearly feel obligated to, like just attack other people because they're feeling some way like everybody's projecting you know mm-hmm. so that's really just what it comes down to like i never feel the need to be like oh my god like even if i don't agree with something i'm not gonna be like oh my god this is like not right like how could you do this you know because yeah, i just right. like i don't care like everybody's living their own lives and like let people do what they want to do you know i think people need to be more For happy sure. yes yeah we we need more of that in our lives i think you it's know? growing though i think more people are like positive and happy all the time now I don't I think there's that many mean people. Like, I think TikTok has a lot of mean people. TikTok is brutal because I, I think it's like, like a lot of like kids, children, right? you know, like like when we were like <laughs> younger, like you know, like people were they go through their bullying phase and like yeah. I know I've been there and like yeah, so they're children, like you know, they'll say whatever, they can hide behind a keyboard, so they're probably yeah, getting keyboard bullied. warriors. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and they're probably getting bullied. Yeah, exactly, and it's sad, but it's just like. But weren't we all? Like, yeah, I feel like I was. For sure. Mm-hmm. I cried in the bathroom all seventh and eighth grade. You know. Oh God, middle you did? school was truly the worst. Yeah, I was yeah. bullied all the time. I yeah. don't know. Same, yeah. There's always one hater. But now look at us now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tacos and drinking yeah. tequila. <laughs> You're probably on line at my coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like we all experience that bullying. But but that's actually that's a good topic because so we partnered last year with NAMI. Oh. So if you guys don't know this resource, you guys should. It's the National Alliance of Mental Illness, N-A-M-I. Mm-hmm. They're, they're, excuse me, oh my God, the beans. <laughs> <laughs> it's national, but there's a chapter in Orange County and we partnered with them and it was 
I have to show it to you guys. It's so cute, but we like did a collab t-shirt. So like uh-huh. anybody who purchased the shirt, ha- proceeds went to NAMI. And it was like this beautiful phrase, like disco balls, not all are perfect, but some are broken. And oh. if you know something super cute, like, yeah. you know, you like put put the pieces together and you'll still find, you know, something about like being wholesome and cute, right. whatever. I don't yeah. have a phrase, but <laughs> I'll, I'll send yeah. it to you guys. But it's super cool because like there are actual resources out there. Mm-hmm. Like they're there and I just don't think people really know that they are so hopefully with that being said that's why taco you know? com is making people happy also yes oh, that's our we just want to feed people tacos and, and make them happy yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. no hard feelings of any kind here yeah mm-hmm. but they have cute happy hours too yeah i hear that uh, sun bliss coffee has received some accolades i was hoping maybe you could tell us a little bit about those yay <laughs> um okay so our first, actually, there's been a few. It's been really cool. Our first one was from LA Times. That's like one of the best coffee shops in all of Southland. So that was cool. That was, I think, about a year ago. And then most recently, and I'm so proud and a little overwhelmed of like all the all the excitement around it, but it was um, number six in the nation. Ooh, is- that's <laughs> nice. amazing. I know, and I think you guys can vouch for us because oh, yeah. you're drinking our coffees. Coffee is phenomenal. Um. <laughs> But yeah, we got number six in the nation by Yelp as one of the top 100 restaurants that even just made it to the list. And then, um, oh my God, I totally had 45 seconds of fame because all you really need is 45 seconds. And we were on KTLA and that was so fun. That was really cool. I felt like I was on Chopped. Oh. Like they were like, like we're, we're on air, five seconds. And I'm like, ice cube, ice cube, like put the blue on top, make everything look nice. It was really cool. But Did they come um, to you or you went to them? We we went to KTLA. Oh. So it was a lot of planning, like thinking through every single detail because our stuff is delicious. It looks good, but it's aesthetically pleasing, but also tastes good, mm-hmm. you know? So we just wanted everything beautiful to come off live on camera. I love the baby blue straw. Yeah. I'm trying to get some yellow ones. Oh, oh yeah, you have to. To match more of like our brand again. But, but yeah. The Yelp, most recently, we've gotten a lot of cool recognition, like Insider and Fox and all kinds of stuff online and local support by you guys and so many other wonderful restaurateurs and friends and influences in the industry. So it's been beautiful. Thank you for asking. Of course. No, we're super stoked for you. I'm glad everything's going so well. It seems like everything fits your personality. Yeah. You seem so so happy mm-hmm. and personable and motivated. I mean, yeah. so I'm, I'm glad it's working yeah. out for you. Thank you. I try. I want people to feel like they're coming in they're coming to someone's home in a way like in our culture when you come to someone's home you give them chai you know you give them a cookie you make them feel welcomed and we just always check on others and like i always tell the girls and i think i learned this and again like not no one's competition starbucks is not competition nobody we're we all i look up to big chains oh that's so good um i built sunbliss based off big chains i sat at starbucks for seven hours a day i'd watch how they work how they scoop ice how they interact with people and um and i'm I'm like drawing a blank but the gentleman that had a book about starbucks was he's he was saying um that we're not in the business of coffee we're in the business of people Mm -hmm. and so it really stuck with me because like leaving a long-lasting impression is really what matters like that good customer service so that's that's what we do have you (laughs) got like a like a customer like that's driving from far and they're like we can't where were they from (gasps) Oh my God! Huntington Beach, Long Beach. Ooh. Someone, someone comes every week from L.A. Ooh. Wow! That to means... Anaheim Hills, like not just Anaheim. Anaheim's like, like okay, Before. I could see that. Anaheim that's a Hills distance. is, but to Anaheim away. Hills, oh my God! That is so amazing. Every time I'm there and I hear someone driving an over hour to get to us, like my heart is so full. And oh, it, it's like amazing. a beautiful reminder. And I'm sure you get this right. Comments, you guys get comments, and people are showing you some love, and they tell you where they tune in from. But it's like. It gives you like that power, that energy to like, like your why. They're yeah. my why. Like keep going and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> oh Anything coming up with any of you? Like, are you gonna cry? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. We locked eyes. I'm like, oh, I know. I'm like, wait, are we, like, wait, are we gonna cry right now? Because I'm now. What's any- coming up? What, what any- we have? Oh, we have um Project? a huge. Um, summer launch. I think oh. we might do it in April, maybe May. Give us a little exclusive. Oh, okay. So very refreshing and uh, something for everyone. So house made lemonade, house made oh. strawberry lemonade. We do a thing called Joe's Refresher, which we will do a big highlight on. But it's for people who love Arnold Palmer's. 
It'll be coffee on top, lemonade at the bottom. Joe's Refresher is actually named off of my very Mexican best friend's father who passed away. His name's Joe. Uh-huh. And Joe also is Cup of Joe coffee. So it's a coffee lemonade refresher. Oh. Yeah. That's very cool. That's um, interesting. That we're probably going to do like a lychee lemonade, which is like Ooh. in our culture, Ooh. like lychees found culture like as if i'm like born in the jungle in india like, <laughs> like i'm not uh, mowgli or anything but um like lychee is very well known in south asian culture mm-hmm. so i figured like oh, so delicious and so exotic yeah a different Maybe, like a sexy mm-hmm. lemonade yes. so yeah that's what's coming up for me what do you got uh, i'm working on my cookbook right now <gasps> oh so, yeah oh, uh, yeah so they were telling me about. about a recipe book over here you're already oh, have you been one. like writing Scholars. yeah how's the process uh it's it's good you know it takes a lot of a lot of work but i'm super excited about it long time coming people have been asking for this for a really long time so i made the goal to hit a million on tiktok and then i'd start like officially working on it like i've always been at it like writing recipes and stuff but now i'm like actually gonna that's so gonna that's cool. launch it soon so i don't i don't have a date yet but uh soon mm, okay <laughs> is it like all your own recipes yeah Mm -hmm. that's cool it's gonna be a lot of the viral recipes that i've had on tiktok and instagram but uh, i'm gonna do like 30 recipes that nobody's ever seen before Mm -hmm. that i haven't shared on social media so i'm super excited about that do you have a title yet i was thinking of vibing with vic in the kitchen because i like you know dance and stuff yeah and then my spotify playlist will be on there obviously i have to listen to that oh yeah (laughs) it has like eight thousand likes on it (laughs) because like everybody's like what's your playlist because they love my playlist how do you do that like how do you like combine like your recipe with a song Mm, it kind of just depends what i'm in the mood for you know i'm like what what is gonna be fun and like uplifting for people like i don't like to do super slow songs like I want people to like feel happy and like mm-hmm. excited when they watch my videos and like they just are vibing, you know, and they're just having a good time because I just love music and like I just hope people feel the same way while seeing a good recipe as well. So yeah, whatever I'm jamming out to that week. <laughs> I have a request. What? And I think you might know it. So we were vibing and jamming out to Ciara's um, One Two Step. Oh yeah, <laughs> everybody was dancing to it at the it event was, that we went to. So yeah. I definitely need to do that. And we were looking around yeah. the room, and it was a be- it was a really beautiful moment. Yeah, everybody, chefs, guests, workers, everyone just stopped to look around, and people were like, "Run with Don't your stop. song, everybody get on the floor." <laughs> and then I think everybody was jamming to In Sync. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that <laughs> too. Bye, bye, bye. Yes, <laughs> everybody loves a good throwback. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you should bring like some throwbacks in it. Oh, one hundred percent. Yes. Mm-hmm. A fun event you guys have attended that you're like, oh my god, this event is so cool. Like, I get to see people I know and stuff like that. I got to go to Coachella, Ooh. so that was. I mean, that's like it's not like a creator. Did you get of, the artist pass? I got a VIP pass, okay. but I mm-hmm. got to go with Lays. So I just like went and ate chips and <laughs> oh lace <Lace>. yeah <laughs> I thought it was an influencer I didn't know I was like who, who yeah is this you know the secret influencer lays <laughs> that was just like one of the I got to go and eat chips the most exciting <laughs> so moments cool. in my yeah good times when I was in beer I used to go every year that was amazing mm-hmm. I remember Drake's first year performing oh wow. and there's a couple of big Indian artists we're so proud because Indi- yeah who's your favorite artist like who would you go who would you want to see Jeez, uh, probably nobody that would be playing at Coachella. No, you'll be Wait, surprised. That's, yeah, that's be not surprised. true. Are like crazy. Like mm-hmm. it, like an Indian, two Indian superstars, like is already shocking for all of us to even be there. So it's it's pretty. You'll probably Jeez. be surprised. Like, I only listen to like metal mostly. So I don't... yeah. Okay, who? Uh, <laughs> like Deftones. No. Uh, like Metallica. I guess would be okay. more of a classic one, but mm-hmm. kind of like yeah, hardcore Deftones bands, metal? like Asking Alexandria and all, like the old school stuff that I listened to in high school that I still listen to. Okay, yeah, same. Oh, me too. I was a rager. Oh, was that right? <laughs> no, I love hip hop and Spanish music and I love Hindi and Bollywood music, but growing up when I was 16, I was always like Linkin Park, Linkin Park, Corn. Oh, that's cool. Um, anything that was Project Revolution, Deftones, Incubus, Sublime, like love that was Sublime. like past Sublime was good, yeah. That was actually my first concert, know. Sublime with Rome. With Rome, me too. Yeah. Well, not my first oh, concert, but I went to see them. I like them. Yeah. <laughs> And people look at me and they're like, you like Deftones? I'm like, <laughs> don't I look like a skater girl? Yeah. <laughs> don't I look like I want to rip your head off and mosh pit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love a good mosh pit. I don't but... know about the ripping off heads, but mosh pits no. are fun. Yeah. 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 I ripped off very few heads in my um, day. I think like I just most recently went to When We Were Young. 
in October in Vegas. How you have that? to know. He knows. That's awesome. It was like every band that you loved from like it was like Green Day, everyone oh, wow. from Green Day, what a throwback. Silver Silverstein, like every All American Yes, yeah. All American Rejects yeah. was there. Wow. Oh my god. I didn't know about that. So many great people. I, I don't know. It was like sixteen year old me was excited Nostalgic, and it was yeah. everyone that i hung out with in high school and college we all went together it That's was wild so fun. Awesome. i love that and we did not all american rejects it was there yes but i didn't make it till ooh, i feel like eight o'clock 8 30 came around and i was like oh, we're gonna go to this bougie ass spot right across the <laughs> resort world to get some dope sushi oh did you and see the left. resort world yeah how I was went, it? it great sushi we went to some restaurant that had a like hot it was the world's spiciest sushi. My two friends did it. They won. They like got the highest in the. I don't know what it is, but like they won overall. Who can eat the most spice? World spiciest sushi. Mm. It was crazy. It was cool. Dangerous competition. Yeah, yeah. and it was like at some beautiful, nice restaurant in Resort World, and we're like, all right, f it, why not? Yellow. <laughs> Yellow. It's like my Bring life. My life motto. <laughs> oh my <God. laughs> Thank you both so much for coming on the show. I feel like yeah. that was a pretty good time. Yeah, that was so fun. Thank you for having us. Of course. Thanks for having us. This coffee <laughs> is really strong. I, my hands are still shaking. <laughs> really I have good. like, I know, I'm like, I can see your legs shaking down below the table. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. holding my hands together. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, don't move. For the first time, I'm not having coffee. I'm like, drinking. Wait, oh, do yeah. you drink a lot of coffee since you own a coffee shop, or do you I, drink matcha, or like, what's your go-to? Every day, I have something different. My go-to latte is the black lava mocha because I love mocha and i love chocolate I love mocha. and our mocha is 100 percent dutch cacao like it's not oh, wow powder filled with chocolate like, it's i'm sorry it's not powder <laughs> filled with sugar and then i drink matcha at home because i know how to make it it's so easy I'll, I'll get you some i'll teach you and then oh we can make a video on how to make matcha yeah, yeah. <laughs> look at us yeah and then i make chai every morning regardless of what i have chai every morning anything else you guys want to throw in before we like close it out follow me on instagram <laughs> Tell them your handle. Uh, my handle is Victoria, and then the the second part is my last name. It's T S C H O P P, and then I had to add another P because somebody took my first name or my last name. So, Victoria Shop. <laughs> yeah, I'll cook you some dank food. You know, eat a lot of delicious things. And dance while doing it. Exactly. Dank food. I yeah, like dank that. food. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just wanted to tell or whoever and anyone that's listening that. In life, don't hate me for this preach, but I mean it. In life, you can do anything you want. Information is at your fingertips. And I feel like Victoria is a great example of that. We all are. And me too. I opened a restaurant from learning how to do this on YouTube. Yeah. God on bless Google. YouTube. Yeah. The last time I had a restaurant job was 15 years old and I was a hostess at Denny's. So all I have to say is if you have a dream and you really want to do it and achieve it, information's at your fingertips just google it and give it your all because dreams come true and you can do anything you want especially in 2023 so it's so true the possibilities are endless and there's so many different things you can do and just having this podcast is also like another outlet that you guys get to do for fun and like yeah don't sell yourself short we're only here for a little bit of time so might as well enjoy it and do what you want motivate yourselves or DM us and we'll motivate you. Yeah, we'll motivate you. Get rid of all yeah. the toxic. To eat some tacos. Get, get rid of all the toxic people that are trying to like bring it down, saying it won't happen, and just go for it. Yes, your vibe attracts your tribe. Yeah. We're gonna make those t-shirts. Yeah, if they don't already Taco exist. Taco Tuesday. I feel like you need yeah. Those. You said don't hate me before you started that. That was a great message. Oh, I know. So if any of you do hate her for that, please don't. No, ever and watch if we can influence again. just one person, then we all sat here and did our job. Mm -hmm. You know. And what was your handle? Oh, you can follow me personally at Tawny McQueen. T A N I M C Queen. So that's me. And then if you guys want to check out Sunbliss, it's Sunbliss Coffee on Instagram. We definitely recommend that yeah. you do. Oh, 100%. Yeah. You'll be Approved. ready to go. This is Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Shall we Approved. cheers to yes. that? Cheers. cheers. Our sun bliss. Health, happiness, and tacos. 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 Yes. yes. <laughs>